right? You've got to have a desire. You're going to run into roadblocks. What is going to keep you going? Your dream is what keeps you going. You know, if you quit Zango, you know, you're going to probably quit dreaming too. Everything is possible in this company. So what is your why? What is your dream? Everything in, starts with a dream. We've talked about that. Now, here is what gets key. This is some pretty heady stuff in here. Let's check this one out. Energy follows thought when held in focus by sustained attention. Where do you want the energy to flow? To the problem or to the solution? In other words, what you focus on expands, doesn't it? So you have to be careful where your thoughts are going. Is this a glass half empty or is this a glass half full? Half full? Who says half empty? Who says half full? All right, it's a half full glass. You know what? Do you think 500K still have challenges with their downline? Maybe more than you do, right? I couldn't sleep one night a couple of weeks ago. This is when some of my best ideas come. And I was thinking about the people in my downline that weren't doing what I would like them to do. Anybody got people like that? I also thought about the people that had quit, that had given up. It's pretty depressing. You know, people are going to drop out of your business. Some of them will come back, though. Lots of them are coming back, right? And I get these ideas in my head, and this is how it went. I don't know how else to describe it. It said, if you keep focusing on the people that aren't doing what you're doing and aren't and are dropping out or quitting or not reordering their juice, you're going to get more of it. Why don't you start focusing on the people that are doing something? And why don't you get into action calling those people? And I got up in the next morning, Terry and I like to sit out on the deck with a glass of wine and a piece of paper and all kinds of things flow. And we said, you know what? we got to start doing the things that, that we want others to do. And we made a list of people and we brainstormed our downline and we started calling people and talking to people that we hadn't kept in good contact with. And, and you know what? The energy shifted just like that because we started focusing on the glass half full. So is your downline half empty or is it half full? Focus on what you want and it will expand. Now, the wish fulfilled. What the heck are we talking about? She knows? She knows the wish fulfilled. You must take your vision and turn it into a wish fulfilled as it is if it has already happened. And here's the guy that I think writes about this the best. His name is Neville. And he says, when you know what you want, you must deliberately focus your attention on the feeling of the wish fulfilled. It has to have already happened in your mind. If you just dream out there as a future reality, you can actually manifest the lack of the dream rather than the completion of it. So what we've got to do is we've got to see this complete until that feeling fills the mind and crowds out all other ideas. So, Lance and Janine, are you here? Oh, they were peeking around. Over here. Lance and Janine Shipman. We went to our first Zango convention in 2003 as five caves. We sat at the back of the room. It's not as much fun at the back as the front. You want to work your way forward, right? And it's not as much fun when you see all of these people going up and get recognized and none of them are in your downline, right? When you're a 5K, you've only got three 1Ks, right? So it wasn't really exciting to watch all the recognition. I think at that time, everybody went across the stage, it seemed like, except for maybe the one case. And something about Lance and Janine, you know, their story up there. They were already 200 Ks, and, and Terry and I were sitting in the back looking at them up in the stage. And at some point during that first convention, we turned to each other and we said, next year, that is going to be us. We're going to be up on that stage, right? So that was a wonderful idea, wasn't it? Except it didn't end there. Do you know? Every day almost, every day, we saw ourselves standing up on that stage as 200K premieres. We saw ourselves going up as 200K premieres. Do you know that I'm dreaming right now of a brand new 200K premiere 
that I'm going to bring into my world. That is my next dream. And I even know what he looks like and the fact that he's married to an Asian lady. I am visualizing myself at the bottom of the stage taking pictures and having him come down and I am in there with his team. I'm, they're so excited and we're so happy for each other. You know? I mean... Wow, isn't that exciting? And that's what you have to do. And you can't just do it once, right? You're laying out this pathway. And the more you do it, the more the energy flows in your direction. Now, the next thing to do is to take that dream of yours and put some kind of a symbol on it. Okay? Symbols have special kinds of energy, if you will. And once you have a symbol for something then it kind of goes directly into the subconscious mind. And so, what was this all about? See, this was her dream. That was the car, a picture, a picture of the car, and a picture of Thailand. That was the symbol of the dream. And we have other ones. But this is the one that was on the computer that she looked at every single day, right? Do you know that I have a symbol for this event, Zango Invasion? that I cut out the picture of the Zango logo and I put it on a card and I wrote down all the things that I wanted to see happening from this event. I didn't go into this event expecting it just to happen without putting any intention into it. You see the difference here? You know, we're going to start to create an energy that flows. And uh, so you've got to create your intention every single